and welcome back to Austin in the Flow Marching Studios for the second intermission edition of Taking the Field. Uh, Luke, it's been a fun show so far, hasn't it? It really has. The, the cores are really bringing it uh, mm -hmm. today. Uh, there's a lot of great performers out there. And, and a crowd that is loving what they're seeing, absolutely. Absolutely, and, and we're seeing a lot of support for the hometown cores uh, based out of here in Texas, so that's a lot of fun to see. And uh, the, the very first Texas group that started off the day today was a sound sport group, Compass from Midland. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting to see these new groups come and bring something uh, fresh to the field. Uh, you see these performers, often sometimes young performers, who are performing on such a big stage, and that is such a cool thing to see. Absolutely, and, and the, the flexibility of the sound sport model allows them to do some different things, not necessarily your traditional core show. They can be perhaps a little bit more uh, fan engaging. Yeah, it's about entertainment, and, and, and it's, it's, in some ways it's refreshing to see that mm -hmm. as well, just about enter entertaining the crowd. And it's, it's always nice to know that this is this pathway that DCI has created um, really has directly resulted in a larger pool of drum cores because now cores, baby cores, if you will, pardon the term, um, don't have that financial responsibility of buying an equipment trailer, a food trailer, um, contracting with a, a bus company for all their transportation, funding you know uniforms and instruments for 40 or 60 kids, however many they can recruit. They get to start small, they get to build their member base without having to do parades the way they, remember when we used to have parade cores? That used oh, to yeah. be how drum cores started. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, just a fantastic opportunity that DCI has provided for these groups. So yeah. um, It's a really smart move on DCI's part to, to provide something like this. Yeah, and that was how Guardians got started. They were a sound support group. And here they are now doing national tours. Absolutely. It's very cool. Um, so uh, first up, we want to take you to the first block. Um, we have... Uh, some footage of some of these cores, um, Genesis from Austin, Texas. Yeah, they, uh, they, they have a really cool show, Retro Vertigo, um, and they've got some really cool uh, jazz music and things like that that they're bringing to the field. Um, and it's also kind of cool because their visual package doesn't include any props. Uh, so you what? No props? No props. Um, <laughs> so it's cool. You get to see them utilize the field uh, in different ways. Uh, in some ways, it's old school, um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and moving right along, uh, Music City, this is a newer core out of Tennessee. Um, really, really fun show. I really like this show because they do so much interacting with the crowd. And you can tell that, just like we were talking about earlier, the performers really buy into the historical element here. It's very much a period piece. Absolutely. And then now we're taking a look at uh, Spirit of Atlanta, who's really come out on fire this year, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, they have a really fresh show called Knock, and they're doing some really interesting things uh, with their music and their staging. They're switching styles so quickly uh, in terms of their, their staging and their uh, what they're bringing musically to the field. So that's it's a lot of fun to see them kind of mm -hmm. uh, take the next step forward. Yeah, it's wonderful to see uh, just a historic group coming back into the competitive fold and being a little bit more successful. Um, we've talked a lot about that stuff in the past. Uh, moving on to the second block, who did you like? Uh, is everyone a, a, a good answer? <laughs> um, well. Yeah, so it, it, every every core brings something really unique, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it started off very strongly with the Colts. Uh, they're doing some really cool things. And then right after that, Pacific Crest, a really... Mm -hmm. um, I really like them. Um, they have an interesting program, really light program. Mm -hmm. So they're playing some whimsical yeah. music and things like that. I really like that. enjoy this program for the same reason. It's uh, it's absolutely a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we have the Mandarins. We talked pretty extensively about them in the, the pre-show and the competitive success that they've had this year and the uh, aggressive energy. You can see that right there with the, the guard and the headpieces, and they have the rotating Lazy Susan, a lot a lot to manipulate on the field there. Yeah, it's, it's one of those um, elements that I think we haven't seen a lot of yet in DCI, and I think we're going to see more of it. Uh, mm -hmm. these, these moving props where performers are on them and, and letting the prop kind of restage them 
um, without them having to move. I think that's a really interesting element that they've been able to bring. Yeah, similar to uh, to what we'll see from Boston later. And, and now we're taking a look at the hometown crowd, always a favorite. The Crossmen, they always get a huge crowd response here because obviously they're from San Antonio. And they have been successful this year. They're still duking it out to stay in finals. Yeah, they're doing really well. And, um, you know, uh, this year we've heard a lot about the uniforms mm -hmm. um, and I really like what Crossmen are doing. They've, uh, they still have a traditional type uniform but mm -hmm. they've been able to kind of freshen it up a little bit and, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a lot of fun to see a core kind of maintain their identity mm -hmm. but yeah, still absolutely. be innovative in the way that they create their shows. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun to watch them uh, take this new design team. They're not new anymore, but they were new a few years ago. And it seems like they've really finally hit that sweet spot of, of uh, the communication and the way they're setting up the shows. Absolutely. You're seeing a level of sustained success with them now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it, it's always great to see when a core can be stable like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we want to remind our fans at home to go to flowmarching.com. We're looking forward to your fan favorite. Um, so who do you think, Luke? Who do you predict the fans will pick tonight? That's always a really tough question. Um, I think we've all known for a long time, Carolina Crown has been a fan favorite of uh, DCI fans for a long time. Mm -hmm. And yep. I think you're going to see a lot of people voting for them. But you know what? I think uh, SEV has a really uh, great chance to win because they're just so excellent. They're just so good at what they do. And I think there's something about them when you watch them, you're just drawn in uh, to their music and everything that they're doing visually. So I, I think SCV will contend for that fan favorite tonight. See, I, I think, uh Let's see, the two groups that I would put in contention, also SCV, uh, personally, because I just like that show, and man, um, I'm a percussionist, and that drum line is crazy good. Yeah, they are. Uh, there's a reason <laughs> that they've been winning all season long. Um, so I got to pull for SCV. I want to say the easy vote is the Crossman, but I think all their fans are probably in the Dome and not watching at home to vote. Uh, so I would say that the sleeper in there is Boston. Um, folks know about the new ending. There's been a lot of chatter about that show. Um, they could edge up on some folks. I, I think so too, and even in that same realm, I think the cadets actually have been hearing a lot of positive things about mm -hmm. their show. They have a new ending. They've got some new stuff Ooh, in. Can't wait to see it. Exactly. Uh, so everyone's bringing out the stops for this show, so you, you never really know what's going to happen. Well, we can't wait to hear from you, the fans, who is your favorite tonight. Don't forget to go to flowmarching.com and vote, and we'll be back with you after the show for more analysis after the scores. Enjoy the last block.